Hey guys, Snowmobile Man 52 here. Um, here's a quick update. I know I haven't done one in probably like friggin' three weeks. Um, ever since school started, I've been pretty busy. You know, I got friggin' cross country, so I don't get home till like six, which sucks. But yeah, um, here's the more or not more. Uh, Snowmobile, the Yamaha. Still working on getting that friggin' track clip tool. I cannot find one. There's one at my local Articat dealership, but it's it's a lot of money. And I'm, I'm not sure I want to spend it on this. But I'll probably end up buying it just because i got to get it done and out of here. Um, my truck, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the 77, I've been looking at it. I think it may have a bent frame, so I might end up keeping the 79. Um, I don't know. I I got to look at that this week and I'll try and figure it out. Uh, I got a new project right, right there, but I'm not going to show you guys because I'm making a whole series on it. And I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. But anyways... Um, here's a here's a new welder I got. I don't know if I showed it before. It's a Lincoln uh, 100 wire feed arc welder. It's got the gas and everything. It's pretty nice. I don't really like like it. I mean that's that's the first wire feed welder I've ever uh, used. And I mean it's a great welder, but I just don't like wire feed welding. I don't know why. I'd rather have the uh, stick welding. It's much more fun to me. But yeah, here's the shop is well a mess, kind of. It's getting better. Uh, here's a mower that I got to work on. Um, it's a freaking Toro. It so here's the here's the deal with it. It if you start it and run it, it'll run like forever. But if you shut it off, it won't restart. Only when it's hot. When it cools down, it'll start up again. So I don't know what its deal is. Um, and it only gets spark when it's cold. Which I don't understand. It's, it's freaking weird. It, like It'll fire right up right now. And I could run it. Literally until it runs out of gas. It'll just run forever. But if I shut it off in five minutes, it won't restart. And it won't get spark. So there's got to be something wrong with the coil or like the flywheel key or something that's throwing it off. But look at this says. Guaranteed to start. Okay, if there's anybody from Toro watching this... That is a lie. And the carburetor's clean. I mean, this thing is like, it's two years old, but my grandma bought it, and she literally let it sit in her heated garage, and she never used it, because I had uh, that Cub Cadet Rider over there. She just blew her money on that. But now she's living in town, so I pulled that out, you know, put some gas in it, fired it up. First time I mowed, went great. Second time, it it would start, then I shut it off to go get a drink, came back out, boom, one start. So that made me very mad. Um, yeah, it's, it's freaking stupid. But anyways, um, yeah, I should be getting some new stuff tomorrow, sleds and stuff. Uh, I know I said that in another video that I should be posting tomorrow, so yeah, I'll just edit it out, whatever. But anyways, I'm getting uh, an old Articat sled from my uncle, and probably a three-wheeler or a dirt bike or something, I don't know. I'm for sure getting a sled, I know that, and it doesn't run. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll be cool. I'll make a video on it when I get it tomorrow. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.